see a neon here. Yes, so we'll you can grab one. one. What do you all see here? Red. 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 Uh, Red. Okay. Okay. Green Ellipses. With Mr. Green okay. in. Uh, this is lesson 71. Uh, the ellipse. One. Which means that there's going to be another lesson later called the ellipse. Two. 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 <clears throat> and that's now on video. Oh, great. Okay. Uh, so, lesson 71 is out of the uh, Green Advanced Mathematics book. How very exciting. Uh, let's skip over to page 446. We have here a magnet pushpin, another magnet pushpin, and a string. Uh, and, oh man, this is good. I'm gonna, okay, well, I'm going to try not to color on my string. Uh, before I attempt this experiment for the first time live on TV, except not really, uh, is we're, we're going to draw an ellipse. An ellipse is like a circle, except squashed. Or possibly squashed. You. <laughs> Close enough. This is math class, not art class. <clears throat> the idea is, uh, just like a circle has a center, and there is a fixed distance called the radius all the, uh, all the way around, uh, an ellipse does not have it. Well, it does have a center, but there are there are two other points called. And this is an interesting question that came up a couple of years ago. Uh, each uh, see this here is the center. Center. These two points. The, this point is a focus. As you see, focus. And this is a focus. So if we have two of them, the plural would be. The focus. <laughs> I went and looked it up, and apparently you can act, you can say focuses, foci, or foci. Let's say foci. Foci sounds like a mathematical, like a science thing. In any case, whether you say foci or foci, uh, that's how you spell it, F-O-C-I, and that's the plural of focus. Anyway, so we have uh, two foci uh, that are counted to the side, and I have no idea if I even see them in the right spot. But notice they, they go in line with the uh, the longer measure of the uh, ellipse. This one here, we have the center right here, and so the foci would be along this axis. The main that's right, the major axis. Because <clears throat> we have a major axis and a lieutenant axis, just getting a minor axis. <laughs> major axis. A captain and a general. So, major axis. It's kind of like a major painting, except. Wait, no, it is. Okay, and minor. So, the, the foci or foci, whatever you want to call it, are always along the major axis. Uh, and the way we define things. I can't say it. Good start. Okay. <laughs> uh, is, uh, Can I use sign language? The, the, way, the way we define the ellipse is the two. Foci, uh, the any point on the ellipse is uh, the, the the sum of the distance to the two foci is constant. So whatever from this spot on the ellipse, the, if you take the distance to this focus and the distance to this focus and add it together, whatever that number is, it's the same as the distance from here to this focus and this this focus and this one, the same as from this point to this focus and that. Anywhere you are on the ellipse, this one plus that one, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So the idea is we are going to try this for real, and I've never done this before. So um, it's going to be interesting. Now, one of the key okay. factors here is to see if I can do this without moving the my foci. And I moved it. You should have two people hold them. That's true. I need two volunteers. Me. Uh, you and you. I hold 